Okay, let's sit and meditate for a few minutes. Handam Pavana Sampakni. Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, watch it all the way out. If your mind slips off, just bring it right back. If it slips off again, bring it back again. Don't let yourself take, get discouraged. You have to show some determination. You're training the mind in a habit that it may not be used to. So it's, it's going to take some time, but you have to be persistent. It's like training a, training a puppy. You have to be a little bit harsh, not too harsh, but just harsh enough to let the puppy know that you mean business. The same way we have to give it rewards. Okay, The reward here is that you learn how to breathe in a way that feels really good. The more sensitive you are to the breath, the more you realize that different ways of breathing have different impacts on different parts of the body. And some of the part, parts tend to be starved and others tend to be overworked. So you can use the breath to nourish the ones that are starved and to soothe and relax the ones that are overworked. Give them nourishment too. So the better you know the breath, the more you can get out of it. So take some time. This is one of those areas where the Buddha said it's like making friends. You have to take time and you have to be observant. You can't just walk up to someone, shake hands, and be fast friends. You have to be, I may be fast, but it's not fast in the way we mean it, being really close friends. You have to take time. You have to observe the other person. What is that person like? What is the person not like? Where can you trust the person? Where can you not trust the person? What's that person's sense of humor? These things are things you know by staying together for a long time and by being observant. And it's the same way you want to become friends with the breath. You stay with the breath. Watch it coming in, watch it going out. Try to get a sense of when it's too long, when it's too short, when it feels just right. Now to protect that sense of being just right. Same that way that when you protect a friend, the friend will appreciate it. Okay, when you protect the breath, the breath will show its appreciation. It'll have more things to offer you. So protect this friend. So you really do become good friends, fast in the sense of being really close. And then you realize you've had this potential in the body that you may have been overlooking for so long, but here it is, and you can get something good out of it. All too often that's the way things are in life. The really good things are the things that are right next to us, but we overlook them. So here's something that's really close. It's as close as you can get to the mind. You get to know it well, and it will have a huge impact on all the things you do and say and think. The way you experience things coming from outside and the way you deal with things coming out from inside can all be helped by having the breath as a good friend. 